What is going on guys, Greedo XP here, and in today's video on NBA 2K21, my team, Season 6 Glitch Reality, we have an update, new XP challenges, a lot of free packs to open up from yesterday's, well, last 24 hours triple threat event, and we got a locker code we have put in, it's scary-terry-my-team, dash dash my team. <clears throat> and as you can see, there's a chance at Hornets player uh three tokens terry razier's heat check card terry razier's pink diamond moments his standard series two card or a heat check i think it's hornets uh player card so what are we gonna get out of this well it's looking like it's wanting to bounce yes right into a hornets heat check player it could be terry razier so that's not too bad, although it's a lot better. I've had a lot better. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. How many wins did you get in Triple Threat over the last 24 hours? We've got a lot to cover, actually. Uh, new leads for what will be, looks more than likely, Pink Diamond John starts tomorrow. So 250 uh, XP gets for six assists for a point guard in a single game. 20 points for shooting guards over multiple triple threat or triple threat online games. And 11 rebounds of shooting guards over multiple games. <clears throat> so obviously, their stats that uh, Starks did, it's a free card. You can't complain. Obviously, you have to complete the full clue before anything. We've not done that yet. Because we've been playing a lot of triple threats. <laughs> And obviously you got your dailies. There's nothing else. No moments. No nipped. So it looks like tomorrow's thing is going to be crazy. Drop. Will we get Dark Matter, LeBron? We don't know. We'll wait and see. Now, going into yesterday, we had 609. No, we didn't. We had 598 wins. We're up to 700 wins on Triple Threat offline. So we have won 102 games over a 24-hour period, which is absolutely insane. And if you saw the little video we did late last night, my time, there is something we got into that should be somewhere in here. Here, I think. It might not be in here. It might be in Season Rewards. We don't know. <clears throat> it's somewhere. But we got in to the glitch market. We got into the glitch market. And... Yeah, so we we got in there and we got OG and an OB. We got one diamond shoe pack for 15 tokens, which was a Puma uproar card, which uh, one which we have duplicate of that goes for about 5k, which is not the worst. Opened three glitch packs with MT and got Dina Raja. That was it. We have got a ton of packs though from Triple Threat offline. A lot of people struggled. A lot of people have got a lot of thousand MTs. The bolt sometimes I think the most it didn't open was six in a row, I think. Went on a bit of a barren stretch, but <clears throat> we have got Michael Finley, obviously. A lot of quantum packs. Carl Anthony Towns once. A League Series 2 pack. Deluxe. Carl Anthony Towns twice. Says four diamond consumables. Oh, and yeah, a Trey Young. And a heat check pack, and obviously Hornets pack. So we'll open all these up. I think we've got 11 quantum packs. So we've done all right. So we've done really well. <coughs> Grant Rilla. No is it uh, relation to Godzilla. Uh, we'll open this up. Michael Finley for the wins 600 i do believe yeah <clears throat> we're lacking behind on triple threat we've not played a lot we've won more triple threat games 
games this year than we did the whole of last year. Uh, Snatchback freeze with Grant Hill have been the way forwards. Oh, am I going to use this Michael Finley? Not really. XP, yeah. If needed for Maverick's XP challenges. Now we will save Carl Anthony Towns for a bit. We'll keep obviously one of his cards and we'll leave the other one in our pack collection for if we need him for a exchange. I'm trying to think of the word. Devin Booker. Got him original owner. We will add him to the Rudy LaRusso exchange. Am I ever going to really use Rudy LaRusso? Probably not. But, you know, he's not bad. And I'll say, we'll put this contract on Grant Hill, who has been using a lot of contracts. Could we get a diamond contract out of this? I don't know. Well, right. So, what are we going to open up now? We'll open up the Dulux heat check. And then we will open up all our quantum packs. And the heat check player is Desmond Bain. And we get Dwayne Casey. Way. Free MT, I guess. So, you know, you can't complain at that. Right, we'll start with these quantum packs. Yesterday we opened a few quantum packs. We got Bob Sura. Okay, we got Ami. It's Austin Crusher. I mean, he probably doesn't go for much, but, you know, eh, we got him original owner, so can't complain. You can't complain. Wouldn't mind a cheeky Shaq or a cheeky... Got another Amethyst. We got another Austin Crusher? Dang. Dang, that's not too bad. Send these to my auction and I will sort that later so what else are we gonna get I can say we'll get these out of the way and then we'll open the diamond consumables shaky shake diamond I've got a fit leap it up bet okay this might be current this might be the 21 collection because that's for leap it open two and one night three overall 23 LeBron, LeBron James. Okay, series two original. I I guess I'll take that. That's not. Too, it's probably worth more than Felipe Lopez is, who is literally discard value. We'll probably measure him up, but I think we'll probably end up discarding him because he's not worth anything. Let's put it that way. Wow, we're having some luck here today. Pink Diamond? Who was Pink Diamond in the Quantum set? Okay, that's pretty cool. Western Conference 96 overall, 32. Jazz? Malone? Yeah. Okay, Carl Malone. I've never had this card. I've never used him. Okay, that's not too bad. He'd probably go for... Not much, but... I mean, I'd say probably get about 20k for him. I'll take it. That's not bad. An original owner, Pink Diamond. That's all right. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll open Carl Anthony Towns in a bit. <clears throat> okay. Another, I'm another Austin Crusher. Wow. That's the third time we got him. Okay. Well, the Bulls one might actually go for a little bit, so we'll send all to my auctions. I'd say at the end of the day, it's free MT, and you can't turn it down at the end of the day, so that's not too bad. Nothing there. Spencer Dinwiddie and Carl Anderson, who's no relation to... Yeah, Ryan Anderson. <coughs> right, we'll send... This to my auctions. Yeah, I've got an original owner. Uh, pie contract. We'll put another one on Grant Hill. 
Uh, how many have we got left before? So we've got two there. Oh, we've got three there. Wow, three, four, five, six. We've got six more. Wow, we've done well so far. So I think I've got more than 11, but... <clears throat> Not really there. Costas. Uh, yeah. And Dwayne Casey, again. Really. Some more contracts. Like I said, not going to turn down free contracts. Put that on Grant Hill because I use them a lot. Now, when we get J.R. Smith, which will probably be at the weekend sometime, uh, I don't know whether I'll get rid of Grant Hill, another amethyst, uh, Grant Hill or um, Austin Crusher again. Wow. Uh, Grant Hill or KD. Uh, see, I, I really, I don't know. I, I, I'm tossing up. I really want to keep Grant Hill. Problem is, J.R. Smith has. The problem is, he has Steady Hall of Fame Steady, which, on, it's it's not very good on current gen. Felipe Lopez again. Uh, I'll send you to my auctions. I'll probably price you up and probably quick sell you. Sadly. Right, we'll save these. But as I say, I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's an interesting quandary. I probably will test him out, see what he's like. I mean, can't complain. It'll be a Dark Matter card. Go ahead, Uncle Phil. There you go. Um, so we'll just see. Right, we've got two more Quantum Packs to open. Then we will open up these Diamond Consumables. Alright, we get Shaker Shaker. It's a diamond. Two five game gold contracts. I will take that. Is this Bob Sura? Eastern Conference 93 24? Bulls? Oh, it's Reggie Theus. That's different. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably don't go for much, but I mean, it's the original owner diamond card. You cannot knock it. Right, one more pack. Shaq or... Yeah, KD or any of them? No. No, Mitchell Robinson. Okay. Okay, you might go for a little bit because obviously with Nick's players probably being needed in the challenges tomorrow, so... Might swap him. We'll swap him for my other one, and these can just on us off. Right now, we have diamond consumables to open. We'll open this one first. Diamond contract, diamond coach, diamond anything. What do we get? We get. Uh, I don't think that shoe goes for much. It's not free pointer, it's not good. The best ones obviously are your Kobe Grinches or the KD thirteens, I think they are. So this time it is on the right and it is the one of the worst car shoe cards you can get. Brilliant. That's about 2k. Like I said, just can't mock it, but rip. <laughs> This time it's, uh, okay, that one's not the worst, but it's not the best. And it's a change from a Jordan shoe that's not very good. And on this one we get, it's, uh, oh, it's a free pointer. That's not too bad. That's the one I think on, that's on Grand Hill, actually. So that's not the worst. I think that goes for a little bit. It doesn't go for too much, but... We'll uh, put that one on Danny Ferry. Um, so it's not too bad. Right, we'll open one of these cats and we will open up Trey Young as well. So, Carmen and 50 Towns. This card, I think, is going for about 6k at the minute. I used the Age of Heroes one and he was my power forward at the tail end of last season. It's not bad. It you can't go, can't go wrong. I mean, 
for a budget center power forward, he is pretty good. So, you know, he is, I mean, if you're on a budget, worth picking up, actually, to be fair. And Trey Young, who will be the um, cheapest Opal on the market. I've used him. He's okay. He's a good shooter. That's about it. And he is an original owner of Galaxy Opal as well. So, am I going to sell him? Probably not at the minute. I will keep hold of him. His price will plateau, I think, at the minute. I think he's about 30k. We'll price it up in a second. But that's not too bad. We can't complain at that. So, we'll price things up to have a look. So, we'll have a look at Karl Malone's price. I don't think he goes for too much. I think he goes for a little bit. He is going for... Yeah, about 12k. He's about 10k, I think. Something like that. I mean... Okay, he's about 10k. 10k is not too bad, so we might keep hold of him. He's just under... He's about 9k, actually. To be fair, so we might keep hold of him. Like I said, that's not too bad for a free pull. Yeah, it's about 9k. Um, we were also going to check the price of Trey Young as well. And I think, like, well, he is the cheapest Opal on the market now by far. So he is probably going for... See? Okay. That might be a bit more expensive than I thought it was. So it's probably about 30k, I reckon. Actually, a bit more than that. Hmm, that's interesting. So, yeah, about 33k. So that's not too bad. I mean, if I'm desperate, I will sell him. But I'm going to keep hold of him for the time being to see what... 30k, actually. Uh, see what the exchange will bring us next season because there might be one that will need original owner about 30k original owner stuff so there you have it a good pack of free pack opening why not uh we don't know what we'll get tomorrow no hints have been released as of yet but we expect it'll probably be fairly big release but yeah, until next time, probably tomorrow we might be doing a pack opening tomorrow night. So we'll probably expect a video tomorrow at some point with that and a look at the XP. And it looks like we'll be bringing JR Smith home for Saturday. Because we've got about 7.7 thousand XP we need. So we'll probably be bringing him home Saturday. Until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Just let me know below if you got anything good from the 24-hour triple fret event. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and um, yeah.